Freedom's Foundations, Discovery Factors, from Dan Klein's Discovery Factors and Economic Freedom. Let's begin. If decisions were a choice between alternatives, decisions would come easy. Decision is the selection and formulation of alternatives. This is from Kenneth Burke's book, Towards a Better Life. But economists place a heavy emphasis on equilibrium model building. This leads economists to think of economic freedom as the freedom to choose in a neatly characterized setting. But life is not neatly characterized. Only considering the benefits of choice within a set of alternatives limits the economic argument for freedom. As Dan Klein puts it, because our equilibrium stories posit the industry, the preferences, and the opportunities, all that freedom accomplishes is a more efficient utilization of given resources. But what if an individual has an idea that doesn't fit within the current model of alternatives? Our first underappreciated value of freedom is the freedom to creatively respond to form contracts. The entrepreneur needs the freedom to respond to special bits of fortune and changes in market conditions. This allows the entrepreneur the freedom to form elaborate contracts with contingencies about their particular situation. When modeling behavior, we simply don't have access to individual knowledge about how they want to respond to uncertainty. This type of discovery factor can be associated with the work of Ronald Coase. The second aspect we want to highlight is epiphany, finding fortune by interpreting the world differently. A new interpretation creates new alternatives from which we have the freedom to choose. Kurzer describes it best. The most impressive aspect of the market system is the tendency for previously unrecognized ends and means to be discovered. Our third and final consideration will be serendipity. Serendipity focuses on inadvertent discovery that is on net beneficial. The argument goes that we should value freedom even for things that seem foolhardy. Some may work out in unexpected ways and spring a whole new line of benefits that we didn't know could exist. Failures will get weeded out soon enough. This aspect of freedom can be associated with the works of the great Armin Alchin. While economic modeling can be beneficial in certain applications, to better understand the benefits of freedom, we must keep in mind the limitations of modeling individuals' creative respondence, epiphany, and serendipity. For more detail, check out Klein's book, Knowledge and Coordination. Created using Powtoon.